as a consumer, if you drive onto a lot where the shop is using this kind of equipment outside, please back up and go to another shop. Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of The Airing of Grievances. I'm Eric Raymer. this is Robert Grieve, and we are ever so happy that you are with us today. If this is your first time joining us, don't forget to click the subscribe button and uh, while you're there, click the notification bell. That lets you know that if it's 9.30 in the morning on a Saturday morning in the Mountain Standard Time, we are right here and we're actually live ready to chat with you during the premiere, the first airing of this episode. So if you want to chat with us, just click the chat tab on the YouTube app and we're happy to, to say hello to you. If you are watching this later than that, uh, then leave us a comment. Yeah, that's it. Leave us a comment and we're uh, we're happy to, uh, to re respond and engage with you uh, that way as well. And if of course you're one of our old time friends and family, thanks again. We appreciate you for being here. If you see something you like, no matter who you are, Give us that thumbs up. That helps YouTube know that it's a an important thing to uh, to share with others. Robert, happy, happy uh, Saturday, Saturday to, you. to you, my dear friends. Happy and Saturday to you. To you. A uh, quick story. You, yeah. When I was in Texas oh. uh, for the trade show and did our little presentation on uh, post repair inspections, yeah, the most wonderful gentleman came up to me and said, "Watch you every Saturday. My wife and I are sitting there." And when you do cheers, yes, and we do, they cheers each other as well. So I love happy that. Saturday to you kids. <laughs> love it. It's awesome. Thank that, you so much. Thanks the world. Absolutely does. And Loved all uh, the stories. <laughs> and, and from all around the country, we're hearing stories. It's uh, great stuff. It, it just warms my heart. Absolutely. So today, Rob, uh, you sent me a picture. And uh, here, I'm going to throw that picture up right here. There we go. Okay. And. Uh, I'm not sure. So, some. It, I mean, it looks like a beautiful day, but so, something, something's off. I'm not sure what. We, maybe we'll get to that in a minute. Uh, but back here in the studio, everything is uh, business as usual, just normal. Yeah. Uh, so let's talk a little bit about what you're trying to communicate with this picture, because, like I said, it, it, it look. It, it, what, what, what are you doing? Everything? You'll notice that... Uh, Everything all right there? Yeah. Yeah? Notice that uh, our camera's a little cattywampus this morning, and there's a reason for that. Uh, so we're going we're gonna to talk about this picture. Until you brought it up, I didn't even notice. <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> um, so I, I'm Sunday morning, having my cup of coffee, dog sitting next to me, watching the sun come up outside. Minding your own business. Uh, scrolling through and... Uh, I come across this picture on social media, oh. and I'm like, what is that? <laughs> um, for, for those of you that don't understand what's happening in this picture, yeah, please. there is a front camera in this Lexus that needs to be calibrated after something. I don't know what was done, if it was in an accident or the windshield was replaced or, you know, what the circumstances are. All I can do is, you know, take a look at this picture. Yeah. And, uh, you know, a few things pop out, you know, obviously. It's, uh, uh, you know, the camera is a very, very important piece. It goes to the ADAS. Yeah, it has. It, uh, it touches system. a lot of different things. It's it's the car's eyes. Looking at this picture, there are a few things to take into consideration. One, the car is not parked in the lines. No, it seems to be parked across the lines. Yeah, that's taking up too many spaces. <laughs> Uh, aside from that, <laughs> you know, there's a there, there's a police officer or law enforcement yeah. officer who's uh, ready for that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no, all kidding aside, they're calibrating this front camera, and what calibrating a camera or a sensor or a radar or any of these things is doing is telling the car 
where it is and what it's supposed to be seeing, yes. like putting it in frame, right, so to speak. Sure. Uh, and so, if we f- first off, it's outside, and well, nowhere in any of the procedures I've ever come across does it describe that these calibrations should be done uh, on a sunny day or a cloudy day or overcast day. None of the procedures that I've ever come across. They they don't include the the weather forecast? Don't talk about... I mean, this is a beautiful day that this picture is in, but, uh, you know, there's some other things that need to be taken into consideration. Okay. And uh, if we just... I mean, it took me no time at all to pull up the front camera uh, calibration for this uh, Lexus. All right. And uh, so just going to talk about a few different things here. Um, But before we get to that, let's talk about what the camera is looking at. All right. Um, So the camera uh, is, is using forward recognition. Yep. Uh, and dynamic radar cruise control systems, pre-collision systems, automatic high beam systems, all those systems are relying on what this camera is seeing. Yes. (laughs) Uh, And so some of the other things that it's seeing is uh, detect lane markers, lights, vehicles, pedestrians, traffic signs, uh, and, you know, the things that are going on around the car. Sure. So, and it's taking all that information in, and it's communicating with several other systems. Including the airbags. And and letting them know there, there's all sorts of different things. Yeah. The pre-collision system, which would, you know, in, entail definitely airbags. Uh, you know, the, the high beam systems. A lot of these vehicles... The, the headlight turns with the car. Sure. And this camera knows where the car is going straight. Uh, it takes all this information in. So Of course. It's important for that camera to be getting the correct information. Yes. And so... Calibration is important. Critically important. Got it. Because if it sees the wrong thing and it has lane departure assistance, or, you know, any of these lanes, it's looking at the, the lines in the road. If the camera is not looking exactly the way it's supposed to be looking, yeah, it, it, it could land up steering you out of out of the lane. Kind of like our video yeah, it's, today. Yeah, it's a little, you know. <laughs> so anyway, just a quick glance at the procedures. All right. The very first thing is park the vehicle on a level surface. Let's go to the picture where we take a little closer look at the machine and how it's, uh, how, what they had to do to level it. The rear is cranked all the way uh, down, all the way up, and the the front one is all the way way down down. to to get the thing to kind of level. So the machine is level, and you can see where we've put the arrows here uh, for you to see that. Uh, Uh, The machine is level. The machine is level, but if we had to do all that correction to the machine, how can the car be level? And so maybe now the camera is looking Kind of like our video. Yeah. It's a little (laughs) cockeyed. Um, And we're... So when you calibrate it, that machine is giving you information that's in front of, it's looking at the targets and giving you information. You're plugging that information into a computer that is plugged into the car and you're telling the car where this camera is. And and you're telling the computer where the camera is. Well, and the car, right? That you use the computer to tell the car. Yeah, yeah, I got you. Because it's plugged into the car. And the assumption is that the car is also on a level surface. The, the, the information making assumptions. that you're giving it should be the right information. Yeah. So a couple other things, uh, and this is on the very first page, very Got first it. page of the procedures. Lots of procedures to do this calibration. Yes. Um, and and it and it restates under the notice. Make sure the vehicle's parked on a level surface. So I guess maybe that's an important piece. Well, that's the Department of Redundancy Department. Yeah. 
Uh, make sure there are no black and white patterned objects in front of the vehicle. So it uses targets, and you'll see the targets on here, yeah. uh, to, for the camera to understand. That's what it's reading. It's reading those targets and where are they. Understood. Um, so it'd and be bad distance if a, and... It would be bad if a police officer uh, drove his black and white cruiser. Well, it could uh, be. <laughs> in, in, in front of the... It could be. Okay. Uh, actually, there was a guy that painted his garage door inside black and white checkered, which was... It's a very cool look, but he was trying to calibrate cars there, and the cameras were seeing not the targets on the machine, but the garage door instead he had to repaint the whole thing that's a true story by the way wow uh so make sure the area shown in the illustration in the front of the vehicle is free of any reflective or shiny objects so it's got a little picture of the the area that it wants it's clear of all all things you know it's funny uh if we're in a parking lot sometimes there are other cars that reflect sunlight yeah yeah, 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 there's that. Here's an interesting one. The very next one, we're on the fourth bullet here. Yeah. Perform the following procedures indoors. I'm sorry, did you say uh, indoors? Indoors. And this is, before you get anywhere, here is what you have to do. And perform the following procedures in an area with no... Wind. Oh, uh, so now we have, what to have what are the chances? Mother Nature on our side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, this one is is good though. This is performed the following procedure in a bright area. So I'm pretty sure it was bright. Yeah, it was partly cloudy. But, uh, I wonder what happens if a bird flies through while you're doing this. But uh, I don't know. Yeah, it might leave a black and white spot uh, to to recalibrate. But there's even more things that you have to do. I mean, you have to make sure that the headlights are turned off, and you have to adjust inflation and tire pressure. You have to know where to put these targets. and. Yep, I saw one that says you have to clean the windshield glass. I mean, that's kind of important, right? Yeah, yeah. That's what the camera looks through. Yeah, so this camera is also talking to the dynamic radar cruise control system. Sure. Uh, the lane keep and lane departure assist system, the pre-collision system, and the automatic high beam system. So, you know, it's kind of an important thing. A lot's this running is, on it. This is an out... I was going to say it's an outside company, but I didn't mean to say that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this is a company that a, a collision facility would hire to come and do this calibration because they don't have the tools. The tools are very, very expensive. And they do a mobile uh, uh, Yeah, a thing. mobile uh, calibration of these things. I, I had a question about that, mm -hmm. and I don't, know, uh, I, I don't know the answer. Uh, but if you've got this precision equipment that is critical to all these different safety uh, features and you are hauling that around in the back end of a van <laughs> and you might I don't know maybe you go over a speed bump or an accidental pothole or something like that how does they, the precision equipment handle even the precision equipment needs to be calibrated oh and, and so it's that's a very interesting you know comment or observation yeah who knows this machine that they're using is nowhere near as sophisticated as the machine that we have here I see uh, it, it, and anybody who wants to stop by would be happy to show you uh, what what that piece of equipment looks like. It, it looks completely different than that. That's right. kind of a dumbed down version from what we have, but maybe it's you. good for parking lots. I don't know. Uh, uh, according to the procedures, nothing's good for parking lots. Well, not Except according to these procedures. Possibly parking. <laughs> so, as a consumer, if you drive onto a lot where the shop is using this kind of equipment outside please back up and go to another shop ask the shop does my vehicle need calibrations and if so how are those going to be accomplished are you going to send it to the dealer are you going to do it in house yeah. are you going to call uh, an outside company that's not yours to come and do it right um, it, it is my opinion that this camera probably had a better calibration after the accident than it did after being calibrated. Well, so, and, and, and it's important to, to, to the guest safety, the passengers in, in the vehicle. You know, it'll give you some telltale signs 
probably sure. that, that something's not exactly right. It could be very exaggerated, but they should also be doing a road test where they would know that before they gave the car back to you. So, yeah. uh, you know, I just wanted to bring this. This is an important thing, and I was shocked. By the way, I sent it to one of my friends who is an expert in calibrations and pre- and post-scanning and understanding all these things. Yeah. That this is what he sent me back. Uh, so. <laughs> uh, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. It's just, it is so wrong, and yet shops are doing this all over the country. Buyer beware. We bring these messages to you for the very purposes of your awareness. That with your awareness, you can then uh, make a proper and educated decision on who you're going to trust for that. So let's leave you with... Tilt the whole thing down. There you go. Oh, I feel, this, I feel way better. Yeah, this is, this is the way you want your camera looking. <laughs> and uh, we're going to leave you with that today. I just want to tell you how grateful I am that you tune in and... Uh, I hope you find this helpful. Please give us the thumbs up again and uh, appreciate you guys so very, very much. And if you enjoyed the little bit of humor that we had here along the way, share this video with other people. Leave a comment down below and we're grateful. We'll see you again next Saturday, my friend. Happy Saturday. Have a blessed week, folks.